Hi, I'm Ben LeBolt, National Press Secretary at Obama for America. On Tuesday, Vanity Fair published an article on the millions of dollars Mitt Romney has in tax havens like Bermuda and the Cayman Islands. Did he put his money there to avoid paying U.S. taxes? We don't know, because he won't follow precedent and release his tax returns. Here are some things we do know. Mitt Romney owned a shell corporation registered in Bermuda. Mitt Romney keeps millions of his income offshore in the Caymans. Mitt Romney had a bank account in Switzerland. Mitt Romney, who is lately talking about getting tough on China, invested as much as $1.5 million there. The Romney campaign said that when we pointed out these simple facts, we're distorting reality and launching false attacks. But they never said what was false about them. That's because they're true. Mitt Romney could be the first president in history to stash millions offshore. But so far, he's failed to answer simple questions that might explain why, and he refuses to release the documents that might answer those questions. So here's a list of questions the American people deserve the answer to. First, does the Romney family still own the Bermudan Shell Corporation in question? And if so, why won't Romney's campaign admit it? Second, why did Romney transfer ownership of this mysterious corporation to a blind trust in his wife's name the day before he was sworn in as governor? The only logical explanation is in order to avoid disclosure. But if Romney has a better explanation, let's hear it. Third, Bermuda doesn't tax corporate income or capital gains. Convenient. But what taxes would Romney have paid if his money was invested here in America? Mitt Romney is effectively saying he hasn't technically broken any laws by keeping his money in offshore tax havens. Here's the question. Is not technically breaking the law a high enough standard for someone who wants to be president of the United States? Look, this is crazy. It isn't too much to ask that a candidate for president explain why he chose to invest in other countries known as tax havens rather than in the United States. So let's make sure that question is being asked. Share this video with your friends, post it on Facebook, Twitter, and whatever social network is popular in the Caribbean. Let's get some answers.